Infertility affects one in eight couples, and infertility does not discriminate and can affect anyone, no matter their gender, race, religion, sexuality, economic status. And this week unites millions of Americans who want to remove the stigmas and barriers that stand in the way of building families. And with more, Dr. Daniel Duffy from Brown Fertility joins us. Welcome to our set. It is good to see you, Dr. Duffy. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. Um, let's go ahead and first dive into this important week. I I think weeks and trying to change stigma and the way we look at things, especially when it comes to fertility issues. And just to hear the backing behind this, it really shows that it's an important week and, and you're shaking your head and that's one of the ones you wanted to share the message for today. Yes, we are participating in um, online and other types of uh, media outreach to our patients and potential patients. Mm -hmm. Resolve is a patient oriented group that was created by patients, former patients of infertility, that that generates this National Infertility Awareness Month. But then most of the fertility centers will start participating in it to promote the information and an awareness for couples as they answer questions. And of course, giving information is one thing, you know, we're passionate about. That's why I do the job that I do. And I'm glad you're here today. And just in our conversations, you know, I think when, when couples first realize that maybe getting pregnant is not as easy as they had hoped or originally thought, when should they go ahead and start getting the guidance and start working with someone like yourself at a fertility clinic, that that is your specialization? So we don't require a referral. Um, their insurance, they should definitely check with their insurance to yeah. get an idea of what they have coverage for, but they don't have to have a referral to make an appointment with us, not from their OBGYN. They can certainly consult with their OBGYN, but if they're that concerned about it, we recommend that they do see board certified physicians in that area. Now, as far as the um, evaluation of it, the standard definition is 12 months of inability to conceive. and about 15% of couples after that point will not have had a pregnancy. If that happens, then most people recommend evaluating. I have over the years, and been doing this as long as I have, over the years changed that definition. So I believe that if they're concerned, I'm concerned. So even if they're younger and they think there's a problem, we have four basic tests that we do that are very simple. Uh, typically they are covered by insurance and they're not that expensive even if they have to pay out of pocket uh, and then they can know and then they can get discussion about that later. But for the most part, um, particularly women over the age of 35 and certainly over the age of 40, they probably shouldn't wait at all. Go ahead and get in touch. And you were telling me too before we got started the difference you know, of care and the accreditation that you had to go through to be able to be an actual place for people seeking help in the fertility department. And even the consultancy care that you're able to provide is another way really that I think you stand out. I, in addition to the typical pie chart that they can look at, like what couples need to understand is most many times it's not just a he or she issue. Mm -hmm. So I don't like seeing that. I like seeing them a couple together just say, okay, well, it's partly a problem that I don't ovulate well, or maybe there's uh, parameters on the semen analysis that's abnormal. Uh, I said that it's typically that, but if you look at a pie chart, it's gonna say ovulatory factor, tubal factor, male yeah. factor, things like that. But I also look at knowledge factor because the less they understand about it, the harder it is for them to understand your treatment. So I will spend a fair bit of time, not only that, but also giving them web pages that I think are gonna be beneficial to them from like the American Society for Reproductive Medicine. You know, we're really just scratching the surface. I mean, there's so many different things, you know, of course we can talk about and the factors that you see. In closing though, I wanna get your thoughts. What do you like to tell people who may be watching right now that are thinking about picking up the phone and thinking, yes, is now the time that I go ahead and talk with someone at Brown Fertility and, and get a, you know, an appointment with you, what is that one thing that you want people to know more about what you're able to do and how you're able to help most importantly? So I cannot retract a biological clock. I cannot do that. So I don't like, I don't like couples delaying or denying that they think they have a problem. There is no stigma associated with this. That's one of the big things about national infertility awareness is they want to destigmatize it as being a problem. Yeah. Um, I also tell them, so don't don't deny it or delay. Just get in and be evaluated as soon as you can. I'm so glad we got to talk. I hope we can talk more in the future as well Absolutely. because this is such an important information. We're sharing the information too for Brown Fertility right there on your screen so you can get in touch with Dr. Duffy and his team today.